Gordon Duff of Veterans Today was tipped off by an undisclosed high-profile veteran whom was bribed with millions of dollars and asked to join an operation after being told that there is a staged coup underway, an overthrowing of the government, and a co-opting, a gathering uh, together of counterculture jingoist Americans, these libertarians, these people that are basically upset with the government. It's a co-opting. It's going to be headed up by Zionist neocon factions, including the people behind it would be like the banking cartel. These are things that Gordon Duff said to decapitate the current government in a staged uprising. Okay, this is very important. There, that there are one or possibly more nuclear false flags planned on American cities. So how will they do this and what is likely? It will, it will likely be blamed on Obama's incompetence, who will be seen as too concerned about maintaining good face and for inaction on the war on terror. His weakness will be seen as sympathy for the Islamic nations and an underlying anti-colonialism sentiment. His incompetence and concern for face value will be derived from the Fast and Furious scandal and weak positions on immigration and border security, emphasis on Mexico with regard to the border issue and Fast and Furious, of which Romney even called Obama out on Fast and Furious. That should throw up some red flags for you. Key players involved include neocon Bush-era politicians like John McCain. You've already seen John McCain coming after Obama for the Benghazi thing. Another red flag. And this is very important because Gordon Duff mentioned Carlos Slim, a Mexican national who is currently the richest man in the world. The nuke will be of Iranian origin, blamed on, their, on the Iranians' incompetence with the nuclear program. The purpose of this entire event is the ending of that program and anything in the future and whatever else that entails. So who is at risk? Any and all major cities, primarily those who border Mexico, California and Texas, cities such as Los Angeles, San Francisco, Dallas, and Houston. They know that it needs to be major but not incapacitating to the country as a whole. Recently, a warning call was made over a satellite programming which was of a sheriff mysteriously issuing a test alert in multiple cities for Los Angeles, but the alert was not heard in Los Angeles. It made some news in the alternative. And when would they kind of want to do this? Well, you've got December 21st coming up, so they like that disinfo part portion there. So it's very important. I'm thinking that people need to just, you know, I can't say, I can't not, just like Gordon Duff had to come forward and say this, I have to get my word out there. You need to either get very suspicious about your government, get very suspicious about what's going on in your cities, uh, possibly start evacuating in a very calm and peaceful manner out of the city and just politely warning people about how bad the government is. It's time to get crazy, okay? We should be very afraid all the time because of the government's corruption.